Hey guys, Ronnie here showing off a brand spanking new Blender feature that has since popped up in the daily builds. Um, in the future this will be probably well known information, but as of right now it's very new and very exciting. As I said, you have to download the daily build to get this. It's not in normal Blender 2.79. So there will be a link for that in the description. Basically you want to download that, you want to go to file, user preferences, go in your system, and then your TPU should have pop up. So you'll want to click that, and then you'll want to go uh, to your render scene and your this is important you want to make sure that you go into performance and you'll want to turn the tile size down uh, Try 32 to start with what I did is I just opened an image of mine and I just rendered I went through all the different settings Basically what you'll get is when you render with your GPU You typically get one giant tile rendering slowly and then when you render with CPU You'll normally have all of your little cores with their own little tiles rendering the image well what this does is it kind of throws them together, but it, you can only have one tile size, and since CPU renders badly with large size, you'll want to take it all down. Um, I think they're doing something behind the scenes here, because typically rendering with GPU on small tile sizes isn't very effective, but in this case I'm getting faster render times all around, so I can't really complain. So yeah, um, I'll go th through a couple benchmarks at the end of this. Uh, a big question is, when you render an image with GPU and CPU, um, if you put them back to back, there's a slight discrepancy sometimes. There is no discrepancy here, you know, it's basic, it's counting it kind of as a GPU render, so you're good in that respect. That only, of course, applies to animation. I also want to mention that this feature is new, so it's not the most stable, so keep an eye on it if you're going to be rendering an animation, because Blender may crash with it. But yeah, so I'll go through and show a few benchmarks that I've done, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this feature, and I'll see you next time when this video is far outdated.